Oh, hey, let me go ahead and catch you guys up. Um, so because of the Banshee, I uh, I replayed as optimal as possible to get back to this point, with a couple of exceptions. I started getting like pretty long in the tooth, as it were. Uh, as far as the Banshee thing goes, by the time I got up to this werewolf lady and killed her. But um, at that point, I'm like, I, I should stop because I'm not sure what's necessary now. So yeah. this is our base of operate. Well, maybe maybe I'll go down to the uh, <clears throat> I'll go down to the uh, one place. Let me make sure I stole everything from this room first, though. Yeah, I've already raided that. I haven't. I haven't opened this bag yet. What's in here? Another key. Is there anything behind the? Uh, what is that? A uh, boar's head? I I tried. Yeah, there's no way to open the trophy. You, use trophy. You play around with the trophy after a moment. You, you know. It's, so no, that's not it. So okay, I'm going to slowly back away. Back to the main hall. I don't. I don't think that opens. Well. Uh, nope. I think we tried this too. So I'm gonna go back to the main hall, and I'm gonna save. And. We're going to call this our central base of operations. Our goal yep. is to make progress uh, getting rid of the Banshee, right? Yep. That is that is our goal right now. At all long-term goals, the, the Staff of Ages, all of that can wait. Uh, if we don't make progress, we reset to here. So let me save uh, at the strong room. Overwrite that. So it's only quick saves from this point on. Mm. I, I'm having a little bit of trouble remembering some things. I know that's open. I haven't gone down that tower yet, which means I haven't got the uh, the lightning rod. And uh, one of these keys works on these towers. Uh, yep. Okay. So that that tower's open. And, uh, shit, man. <laughs> At this point, <laughs> like, I, I've i done everything except for the goblin room uh, in the previous hallway. Including got a hold of the, uh, the fire elemental in this orb. Um, I kept the uh, uh, cracked vial. I don't know why. And, yeah. yeah. Uh, there is... One exception, though. Um, so I accidentally found a spell. And what does this spell do? I found this right as soon as I killed the changeling because we never searched her body last time. And when I searched her body, I ah. found two things. So uh, let me see. Uh, this shimmering graph translates into the word. Uh, in your mind, you see a dazzling flash of light. I could see that being useful against the, uh, the dark elemental. Yeah. But the other thing is, I, I found this. So, who wants to read this? I guess I could go for it. All right, here you go. You are drawn to one particular passage. Follow the path of the ancients. The philosopher, the historian, the bard, and the priestess. From Elder Anaham to Danswith Baron. From Lilith Air to Horadric Seraph, to Gluru, who show the way forward. I have no idea what that means. I, I can only imagine this is a... Uh, although it does sound familiar, I wonder if these are the books you had to look for. I wouldn't you know? be surprised. That sounds like it. Because I think U Uluru, Ularua was one of the authors. Yeah, yeah. I made fun of the name. So that might be what this is. is yeah, okay. instead we just went and flipped out every single book to see if it wouldn't pop loose, and the ones that didn't were the key. <clears throat> yep. Uh, I have a door here. I I don't know what. Do, does the key open? Uh, 
Uh, no, it doesn't open. So I don't know what this key is for. But we do have, like, three towers to pick from. Yep. Can't wait. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm trying to remember. So, we did a lot of exploration last time, and I'm kind of at a loss of where to go now. Do you guys remember what happened last night? Uh, I, d I do quite a bit. Um, yeah. I want to... I kind of want to mess with that mirror again. I'm sure that's a shortcut. We just haven't... figured out the way... the, the proper way to use it. I did put that skull in there. So the mirrors yeah. are powered up, but I don't know how to use it. Well, let's try that flash of light spell. Can can you just can you just walk into it? Can you use it like you would a door? What? Oh, what? Seriously? Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, you run headlong into the mirror, and amazingly, the surface gives way. You black out for a few moments, and when you come to, you realize you've been transported somewhere else. Uh, which of these mirrors did that? Um. <laughs> It's probably the one that's not magical on this side, but well, I'm not sure. I, I, I guess I'll try this one. <laughs> I, I just, I mean, I don't want to say I told you so, but I'm going to say I told you so. Nice. <laughs> There's got some sugar, some more sugar, and that's it. Yep. Okay, so if that's true... Well, now we know sugar's an alchemical component. Uh, here's... Well, okay, the left mirror goes to the, uh, whatever the name of that tower is. So where does this mirror go? What? I don't know where I am. Oh, yeah. What? Where is I saw this? my brothers got to this place, but I don't know what anything was here, what they did. Well, there's a rune right there. Yeah. Is that uh, rune number five or six? I have no I, no clue that the runes are numbered. Oh, like seven? No, I don't mean numbered, but... Oh, okay. Some catastrophic event befell this inner keep, smashing furnitures to bits, opening walls to the elements. I wonder if this is one of the uh, demands. Uh, I see a bag. Uh, got a couple of thingies and a skull. And a broken flute? What? <laughs> okay, what's special about the skull? Why is this in a bag? <laughs> of all these skulls you have seen on this adventure, this is one of them. Cool, yeah. <laughs> cool beans. So we got I a mean, couple. It's definitely one of the nicer looking ones. Yes. Captain, you want this scroll? Open it up. You unroll the scroll, careful not to damage the paper. You read the words on the scroll. One particular word stands out from the rest. Chrysalis. In your mind's eye, you see a... You see a glyph, glowing with power. As you quickly write down the strange markings in your spellbook, the scroll crumbles in your hands. You have learned a new spell. What is this spell? We have a lot more spells in the first game. Oh my. In your vision, it's momentarily overloaded by a prismatic array of colors that bridge a great void. Oh, oh. so you get to make a rainbow bridge. Cool. Very Nordic. Cursory glance at the stiff, frozen robes real nothing of interest. So this, this is a dead man. The skeleton entombed with icy, tattered robes. <laughs> like, if he were cold all this time, would he still be a skeleton? Maybe it's not always cold here. Maybe it wasn't always cold here. It's just cold now. Hmm. I don't see much else in this room. Where's this go? 
Surrounded by the Gatekeeper Mountains, a lone keep is sitting in silent vigils on the summit of the snowy peak. Oh, nice. A bonfire you can light up. Broken splintered door. Yeah, I guess I could. Logs make a signal pyre that have been stacked on the pyramid. Oh, there was something that mentioned a signal pyre like yesterday. Uh, what teardrop-shaped flower in the winter? Can I can I take that? Yep. Pick a number of petals. Throw it in your pack. Though it's covered in snow, it's obvious this was an obelisk potentially smashed to pieces. That that's a hell of a thing. So we have a way up this tower. I, I could light the pyre, I guess. <laughs> what the fuck? You rearranged, okay. a, you rearranged a couple of logs that seem out of place. Much better. Flames licked the wood heavily before quickly spreading and engulfing the entire structure. Glad to be of service. Uh, oh, heck, this isn't even connected to the castle. Yeah. I guess we're going up here. Huge weathered wall occasionally s slipping as you climb up the stone steps. Okay, good. Stand atop the keep with a... Panoramic view, you see your surroundings. A huge column of wind spins violently and threatening to lift you off of your feet. I wonder if this is because I lit the fire. I no, the fire was a lot darker. Well, maybe it's like I don't know. Um. I think it's play clear, right? Yeah, Quell's a stormy thingy. Yeah. Give it a shot. The tornado continues whirling around, oblivious to your effort to control it. Seems like we saw a tornado rune, right? Yes, yeah. we did. Huh. Uh, all right. So this was a thing that I could have done from the very get-go. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to try our, our, our new skull buddy and see... He doesn't have a thing on his head. That's... So I don't think it's the right one, but... Yeah, I, I agree. I don't think it's the right one either. Um... I don't remember stuff. But there's, there's just so much. <laughs> there's so much. Yeah, it's, it's a lot bigger, like... Yeah. I have a feeling this was the game that they wanted to build. <laughs> We've seen this one. Unnamed hero, hourglass depicting the endless time of hooded figure of Thanos. I think this is this might be something to the actual astronomy puzzle. This oh, I'm sure. Run. I'm I'm sure. Whenever you look through the the, the telescope, I'm I'm positive that's a uh, that's a clue. To what though? I have no idea. Me either. Well, since we're here, we have a locked door right here, right? Yeah, it's locked. Um, oh, we also have an unburnt tapestry. Uh, 
Oh, the door is unlocked. I, I. Nice. Okay, that's new. Ah. <laughs> Room lurching in the pain of Nadja, stabbing pain and something oh, real from this form of the banshee before it flashes before your eyes. Okay, that's not. Well, I mean, you don't have blood in your terrible. mouth yet, so you have like three more, I think. Maybe. That's like the third one. Because I've already passed two, getting just getting back to the uh, regular point. Yeah. So let's go in, he, out here, I guess. Oh, good. The Wyvern. I forgot about him. Large winged creature soars to and fro on the wind currents. Even as the storm rages in the sky. So that's a hell of a thing. There's the other two towers. Um, I don't see anything here that will keep us from dying to a banshee. Yeah. I guess I'll clear the weather. And then it'll fly down and eat your face. I guess. <laughs> Start with the four. The effect is immediate, and the sky begins to clear. And the moon emerges and is full, in its full brilliance, offering a bright glow to the landscape. Large wyvern shoots across the sky, nearly clipping the edge of the tower with a powerful stroke of its wings. Um, we don't have an arrow anymore. I mean, last time we needed to kill the wyvern to get the. Uh... Yeah. Uh, what was it? The talisman or something? Yeah, that is where you got the talisman. Although that doesn't really help us to stop from the banshee, which is our main focus, right? But yeah. I feel like we're missing a skull. I just don't know where it is. Oh, I know we're missing a skull. But where? <laughs> <sighs> but this game all right the things that you need are usually not ever very far from where they go you know it, it, so you think it's in the alchemy lab no i, I don't well i mean i don't know that it's in the alchemy lab well, near the alchemy but lab. But it's probably somewhere around there. Hmm. Got an idea. It said it needed power. It's an alchemy lab, right? Whoa. Is that normal? What the hell is this? Well, that's pretty. Oh, nice. What? Not like the storm hasn't come back yet. You step in for a closer look at the reflection cast upon the floor by a stained glass window. Cast from the stained glass window in the moonlight highlights a section of the floor. So they're reaching for something. Yeah. Well, let's... Okay, we found something floor. new. <laughs> yeah? I have... Um, I haven't the slightest try clue. Try Try the hammer for whatever they're reaching for. Wait, how come the flute's broken? Uh, no, it's a different flute. So now oh, I have okay. two flutes. Wait, did I have... No, I haven't got the other flute yet. Oh, okay. Because you of the banshee. Been... Yeah. Which is something we should probably look into. <laughs> um, let me take a look at this broken flute. Cracked and broken, hand-carved flute with three holes carved into it. White teardrop shaped flower adorned with the winter flower. Um, hammer? Hey, let me try using this. I mean, can you try opening it? Something happened. It's the red crystal on the floor. Do we have a spell? Oh, hey! What? Yeah. Just try opening it. Okay. Uh, this particular stone. Seems to be a little loose. You're it's unable to remove the stone with your So you need your uh, sword. Yeah, or dirk or whatever. 
Hello. There's our guy. Jam the dirk into the edge of the stone and pry it open. The bleached skull grips you, grins at you from the hole. York perks up and quips. Now that's a right handsome looking chap. If I do say so myself. Okay, take, take the skull. So... Now, where's... you can either take the mirror room back to the front, or you can just run hellbent for leather, take the long way. I don't care. No, no, we're going to poke the genie. Uh, that's one way to get back quick. While we're here, let's take this shit. I think this is the dark room? I thought the dark room was on the other oh. side. No, this, this is, is the, the empty, empty room. room. Am I am I going the right way? I don't know. Fuck. You could be um, wasting a lot of time. <laughs> me either. That's fine. I mean. Oh no, the genie's right here. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, no, no, the genie isn't right there. Uh, maybe the genie's right. Yeah, the genie's right here. Uh, West Tower. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay, that's the dark room. Hey, it's a genie. How you doing, genie? Can I enter into our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright, well, here we are. So the theory is this will power up the uh, the alchemy thing, right? Something is powered. Yeah. All right. All right. Let me take this skull. It will uh, make it slightly faster to get back to the mirror room. Be this is the skull if... that's powering up the barrier. What if you need all three? I, I don't know, you, man. You should save before you go too far. <laughs> well, I'm... <laughs> Yeah, fuck it. Ah, so much backtracking. Hey, it's glowing now. Huge contraption appears to be made from a combination of secreted materials, metals, and iron tubing. So can I open this finally? You fill it around with the opening, but you are unable to open it. What is this? Wait, the opening looks brighter than it did before. Yeah, the whole so. thing looks brighter. In fact, the top of it is glowing now, so yeah. we've, we've powered it. Round orange item sits within this iron cage in the floor. Ah, oh, cool. You open the grate and toss it under... Okay, yeah, sure, man. <laughs> is that a pumpkin? That's a pumpkin. Nope. It's clear that this is a pumpkin. Why... Plump pumpkin seems perfect size to make into a jack-o'-lantern. Yay? Uh, I mean, we have a knife. What? Why? Carving knife enters the pumpkin with a satisfying thunk after a moment. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, okay. <laughs> Let's, here's here's a candle. Let's place the candle inside the jack o lion What am I doing? What the <laughs> fuck am I doing? Well, I, I need to use know. your torch on it. Uh, this grate will not open. I 
I mean, I guess. Yeah, it's... You feel a stra strong magic preventing you from lighting the jack-o'-lantern. Perhaps it needs to be in an enchanted place <laughs> first. Okay, so... Okay. We, that's what we're doing there. Yep. Uh, what the fuck so, am I doing here? Which... That's pretty. Yeah, I'm, I'm just clicking around, seeing just, what. Talk, man. Throw a mushroom in there. <laughs> nope. Okay. There we go. Use mushroom on opening. The opening greedily snacks up the rushing from your hand, pulling it aside of the contraption. Oh! It just. just I mean, hit but a so what? It, so. I mean, but what else? I, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> let's, let's give it a flower. And it ate the flower. Would you like some water? Yep. Okay, so we've given we, we've got flower and mushroom water now. Yep. Now I just need to figure out what magical features that gives us. I have cleared away the cobwebs. I am the cobweb killer. Now, you use. You notice an opening to the far front of the monstrosity. So perhaps something goes in there. York falls asleep, but not before unconsciously muttering a single word. Essencer. I wonder if that's the name of the alchemist. That sounds really familiar. We've seen that word before. Yeah, that's why I think it's the name of the alchemist. Mix. M mix. Imply a recipe of ingredients put together for a mysterious oh, I purpose. I that as well. You focus your willpower and say the word mix, and your spell is unleashed. A wave of power enters the contraption, and it hums to life. The thick black vapor pours from the valve sides of the contraption. Um. Eat it! <laughs> You inhale the pungent black cloud, it kind of tastes like licorice. Delicious. Use a uh, empty vial on it. You are unable to capture any of the vi vapor in the bottle. What? What the fuck am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? Uh, take cloud? The vapor remains rooted in place. And I don't even know if this is the proper vapor. We gave it a flower, some water. Oh, it definitely isn't. It's like Sir Mix a lot here. Like okay, are we are we all assuming this is how you defeat the Banshee? No, we defeat it somehow, probably with I don't know, holy well, water listen, or something? It it kept saying that you needed an antidote. Yeah, which makes me think, okay, let's make an antidote by feeding this eldritch machine some random shit. We, we don't... Well, okay, even if this isn't for the Banshee, this is definitely for something. I... Let's... let's hang on a sec. I got an idea, and it's probably nothing. All right, I know, I know, we're here again. We didn't actually look at these books. I'm praying one of these has something like exorcism or get rid of Banshee or alchemy on the label. All right? Let's do it. Ten great tricks for slaying a Banshee. Uh, clan, this doesn't look like that. Uh, burning beneath, that doesn't look like it. Requily of Seeing? No. Uh, scripture of Truth? Probably not. Potions Requally and Remedies. 
I wonder if that could be used against the darkness. Uh, dire circumstance takes a pinch, a, a pinch of yeast, sweet sugar, and the extract of mint to create a tonic that cures the ills of doldrums. Simply the powdered skull of rodentia and a blackish base and a bitter root shell. Wait, no, 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 no. Let me, let me see that. A pinch of formed yeast. So bread, sugar, and the extract mint of plant. mint. We, we have these. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have bread, bread, sugar, and mint. I believe is this flower. It's the moss. No. It's no, it's the moss that was mint. What? What else was Yellowish there? Tint, on the uh, mint. Book? Really? A cluster of seeds and its crowns a leafy green topped with fragrant bud. So let me let me scroll back on this. Okay, the other one is an incomplete thing. It says similarly, the powdered skull of a rodent. Oh, we have that. We have that. No. The bra a brackish base. What does brackish mean? And a Salt bitter water. root. Salt water. Yeah, salt water. I need to write this down. God damn it. I need to write this down. I've got it written down. Bread plus sugar plus mint equals it's... cure ills. Right. And then... And then rat skull plus salt water plus bitter root equals something else. Uh, do we have a bitter root? How are we doing this? <laughs> I think we just dumped the random items in the machine. Uh, wait here, adorn this winter flower. This is not a root. 